Hello everyone, welcome to our Oracle DB online training channel. In today's session, we are diving into a key topic related to Oracle uh, DBA. That is how you can create an ACFS mount point, which is mainly useful, useful when we are talking about rack environments or any ASM cluster uh, environments. If you're managing Oracle database in cluster environment, understanding ACFS is essential for handling high availability storage solution effectively. I will walk you through the step-by-step -step guide, ensuring that you get, gain both knowledge and the clarity about this topic. Okay, so that you can implement this feature in your environments. But before we uh, deep dive into this session, I would like to request all our viewers to please do subscribe our channels. Previously, we have created lots of videos on the multiple subjects related to Oracle DP. You can find the details on our channels. Also, I would request if you are looking for knowledge in details, you can take our recorded courses from our website, Oracle DB Online Training. Here you will be getting a recorded training courses. Uh, you can take a ready VM machines for your use cases. And you can also uh, get a detailed documentation uh, related to our videos. So this will give you fast track knowledge uh, and experience with re real world scenarios. So before we proceed with this, I will again request, please do subscribe our channels and take the membership benefit where you are getting exclusive contents like advanced topics and dedicated sessions related to our previous batches that we have conducted online trainings. With this, we can now proceed with our today's agenda. That is how we can create ACFS mount point uh, for any uh, clustered environments. For this purpose, uh, I have taken two different servers. We have rack node one rack node to both servers are up and running i have already connected using the mobile x application here so what we will do first we will try to see what are the disk are available right now so as of now we have uh, oracle asm lab i mean uh, disk acfs is there then we have archive disk is there data and ocr suppose there's a request that you need to create any shared mount point using the acfs file system so how you can do this for this purpose, you will require Oracle ASM disk. Uh, first, we need to create ASM disk group. And then after that, you'll, you need to create ACFS mount point. So right now, <clears throat> I've already connected to the environment. Let me show what are the current version and other information. Definitely, you should have the latest patches in order to configure such configuration. Here, we uh, in this environment, we are using 19.24 patch set and our both servers node 1 node 2 are up and running including the database now currently acfs mount point is there so let me log in quickly and we'll see what are the path or files are there so we need to connect as a sys asm so select name comma path from v dollar asm underscore disk We can set lines, pages quickly, and then column path also we will set. So as of now, the ACFS disk is not utilized, and that's why the name of the disk is not allocated with any naming convention. So this indicates currently this particular uh, disk is available. Now using this disk, we are going to create an ACFS disk group first. So whenever you have to do this activity, Make sure you create one disk group. So as of now, if you look at the detail about the disk LSDG. So we have only three disk groups. That is archive disk group, data and the OCR. Now what we will do, we'll create a disk group. So in order to create the disk group, I, I will use ASM CA utility. You can do the disk group creation from com command line also like using the create disk group disk group name and give the path of the disk that way also you can create the disk group but here in this example we will try to utilize acfs uh, sorry asm ca that is asm configuration assistant in this case <clears throat> i will click on the disk group name here as of now we can see existing disk group that is data ocr and archive now with this we will try to create another disk group and I'll give the name of the disk group like ACFS itself. And we will choose the external 
redundancy option because we have only one disk available at the moment with this i'll click on create so this new disk got created here a disk group got created it's, it's a name is archive currently we have around 10 gb usable space is sorry not this one we are talking about acfs so 10 gb of the space uh, is basically utilized the actual user uh, allowed is 9.86 uh, gb and this disk group is mounted across both the nodes node 1 and node 2 like that after creation of the disk group we need to next create the volume so to create the volume we have to refer this disk group okay we will try to see how it, it works so you have to give the name of the volumes okay let's go with this name as gg acfs so what we will do we'll try to utilize this uh, disk group acfs here okay i'll give the name gg acfs because i'm i might be using this mount point for um, golden gates uh, trail files that will be like uh, shared across multiple servers so for that purpose i'll give the name gg acfs and this is the name of the disk group that we want to utilize so total how much space you want to use from this you have to go a little lesser than the actual available space so i'll give like 8.5 gb here and then after that we'll click on create but again it is failing with the space exhausted message that means we need to go a little less so i'll go with it zero like that because the header header of this file will be utilized and it, it requires a little bit of space so once this is uh, created then after that we need to go to the next option that is acfs file system so that's where we need to uh, proceed here we have to uh, click uh, on create option and from this option we need to browse the mount points so on the on the on the system level we need to create one directory structure so as a root user what we will do we'll create one directory here so cd to the root location mkdir gg scfs okay similarly i'll go to the second node also so we created the ggs fs mount point here we need to browse this mount point so let's go back to the slash mount point gvs ggf acfs here there's an option we need to provide the user username so this this will be owned by the grid user because uh, all the all the writing operation will happen from the grid user and it's a use i mean group name is primary group name is install so here there's option auto mount is given so automatically it will mount so by default it automatically selects the volume that we have created in the previous step so it is already coming here now what we need to do create uh, sorry after this you need to click on ok so it will create acf uh, gg acfs mount point ok as a final step you need to run the root script ok this script you have to run as a root user on the any one of the node so once it is done after that you, you can check ggfs mount point will be available here now if you want to verify whether you are able to access this mount point from second node or no you can again go back to the secondary node and type df-h and you will see that ggacfs is also available on secondary node okay so basically this indicates that you are able to create the gg acfs mount point here now i'll try to test some data insertion here like i'll go and first cd to that gg acfs mount point as a grid user and try to create one test file here so this file is getting created and it should be also accessible from secondary node that is uh, from the node to I'll, I'll again cd to that gg acfs mount point and check whether this file is there or not in fact I, I will also try to create another file called test2.txt if i'm able to create this file that means the acfs mount point is created successfully okay 
so that's that's very simple and easiest way that you can create any acfs mount point in uh, cluster environments and that can be used as a shared mount point for any uh, task so with this uh, we are we are successfully completed like how to create acfs mount points i hope you have understood this uh, in simplest uh, process of creation of acfs mount point in any cluster environments so with this i think uh, uh, we have completed our today's agenda that is how to configure an acfs mount points thanks for watching this uh, videos please uh, do subscribe our channels and share this video if you if you like please uh, click on the like button and then if you are interested about our recorded courses please do visit our website you are getting uh, excited offers here you can take any documentation related to our videos from this website thank you again uh, thanks for watching this video have a wonderful day.